KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Since taking up the mantle from Dr. Felix Cabrera, new Interim Chief Medical Director of Public Health, Dr. Robert Leon Guerrero, told KUAM one of his duties since taking up the position. I go head up the teams and, and uh, help with the uh, getting people uh, who are COVID positive into treatment centers like the uh, uh, Regeneron Center over at Mino, and then in the afternoon I'm, I'm there. Dr. Leon Guerrero gave an update on the number of patients being treated using Regencov. Well, initially it was slow. I mean, I think the first day that we opened up the Manila Senior Citizen Center was uh, maybe about four or six. Uh, yesterday we, in the morning we were up to 16 being given that day, and I, I foresee that that number will uh, continue to rise. Although the Regencov treatments are going well, hospital staff at both the GMH and GRMC are worn out and overworked due to the upsurge in cases. I see it because uh, I'm a hospitalist. I still see uh, people that get sick, but not at the, the uh, amount that the nurses up at the hospitals see it. And I, I feel for them because they're, they're tired and they want this to go away. GMHA spokesperson May Habib confirmed the exhaustion of the staff and shared what they are going through. We're really hoping for more relief. So we've been doing everything we can. So many doctors, so many nurses, staff, techs, and in so many ways have stepped up. They're working overtime. They're taking more shifts. They're flexing in every which way. We've taken administrative nurses and put them on the floor for clinical reasons. We're stretching our telemedicine technology um, to you know, better have doctors available for every patient. But absolutely, staff are tired. There's only so many overtime shifts you can do um, before you're absolutely exhausted, before it doesn't matter how much more money you're making. You're just, you're just tired, and I can tell you the staff is tired. Habib noted that 15 Department of Defense Reservist nurses are on the way this week to help GMH with their staffing situation. Daniel Perez reporting for Guam's News Network.